Hi guys, I'm Silvio, as always, don't worry, and welcome to another off-season video. I know it's almost a month since my last upload, but the past four weeks have been the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life, because I had the contractors here in my apartment, and they changed all the windows and all the external doors, so the apartment was a total, complete mess, and obviously I couldn't feel anything. But don't worry, I've also worked for my 2022 Christmas Village, late in the night or early in the morning, but I worked. On what? On my Three Ring Circus. You know that I want a Three Ring Circus, and you know that because uh, uh, Lemax or any other uh, Christmas village builder, producer, or figurine producer doesn't have on catalog figurines, circus figurines. Yes, Lemax has a ring master figurine, but no other figurines to depict a circus, a Victorian era circus. So I decided to design, to model, uh, to uh, project and 3D print all my figurines, all the figurines I want for my three ring circus. Maybe I will exaggerate a little bit and you will understand in just a few minutes. So let's go because I want this to be the shortest video of all my life. So you already know my heavy clown there. I will go very quickly um, first, then I will try to have an in-depth quick, but an in-depth quick overview of each figurine. So let's go. Uh, so the heavy clown, you know, here I have uh, Gertrude, the uh, acrobat, the w acrobat woman. Then I have Frida, the birded woman, what is a circus, a Victorian circus without a birded woman. Then, then I have a uh, Mr. Cannon Man, Mr. Uh, cannon Bullet Man there with his cannon. Then I have Madame Zaza, the fortune teller there. Then another uh, little uh, clown there, an equilibrist clown there. Then a fire eater. Then a mini clown, a wolf clown there. And then I have a popcorn machine, but I'm not very satisfied with it because I think it is too modern for a Christmas, Victorian era Christmas village. Then I have the lion tamer. Then I have, yes, a strongman. What is a Victorian era circus without a strongman? Then I have a juggler woman there, a little juggler woman there. Then the great Hini. I, all the great magicians from that time were all Hini, Hini, like the great Houdini. But I haven't decided on the name on his name right now. Maybe you may suggest a name for this great Hini magician. I and I. Then I have Scrooge there, <laughs> the circus owner. Why Scrooge? Because it's even greater than Mr. Scrooge. Then I have not the circus, not the entrance circus, but a puppeteer. And I will show you in a few minutes. Then I have a couple of lions there a young one and a very big, powerful uh, adult male there. And then, and then I have uh, Frederick, the ring master. So, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen figurines. And look, this length here is almost two meters. 180 centimeters. So that's why I said I maybe I have exaggerated with my figurines. Look how how big will be the space occupied taken by those 
figurines. Almost all the uh, all the layout will be uh, taken by those figurines. But I will use all of them. I will go crazy this year. So let's go in that. You already know my heavy clown there. And then Gertrude, sorry. Let's try to have the fixed camera there. Then you may see that here we have Gertrude, the acrobat. Uh, why I uh, said uh, Gertrude? Because she had very, very blonde uh, hairs. So maybe he is from uh, Northern Europe there. So Gertrude here, this is Gertrude. Then, then you have Frida, the bearded woman there. And why the hand like that, the arm like that? Because I've imagined they're singing some opera there, like la la, like something like that, or la la. Yes, she's a woman, so not la la, but la la, something like that, guys. I know I'm crazy, but uh, she's a singing so singing some opera. Then the cannon man there, the cannon man. I've imagined it like in a pose, like a superhero, like a Victorian era superhero there with the, with the hand. Hey guys, I'm here and I'm the best at what I do. So the costume, uh, his costume is, look at a secret. I've inverted the, the Superman colors. The Superman costume colors. So Superman is blue with um, with everything else red here. I have a blue, and the costume is red. No, it's not like Superman, but he flies like Superman. And then the cannon there. Very heavy. This one almost one hundred grams uh, because it's plain, it's full, and it's big, heavy. So. You can see that it's not empty in the inside, so with colorful colors. <laughs> Sorry for the joke, guys. And I've tried to go with the same colors, with bright, colorful colors, as I said. Then, Madame Zaza, the Fortune Teller. You guys, this is the Fortune Teller, Madame Zaza. Uh, like a gitana, like... Uh, sorry, my hands are dirty as always. And uh, this is Madame Zaza with the uh, crystal ball in his end, in her end, sorry. And <laughs> let's forget the French accent for a moment. And then some big uh, uh, ruby um, uh, ring there. Oops, the camera is falling down. It's... And then, sorry, oops. Let's go once again like that. And then uh, very colorful, plenty of gold because Chitanas and Fortune Teller have uh, plenty of gold and uh, so black hair, etc. Then, then another, another little clown there. And uh, this is uh, an equilibrist clown. He, he is riding a motorcycle. Then he have He's also a juggler because he has a gold uh, juggling skittles in his hands. And I've tried, oh, let's, let's go back there. I've tried to use, when possible, the same kind of colors. So the pompon here is orange and there the pompons are orange. Some yellow, this has a green pants because uh, I used uh, some green also, but all the figurines are from the uh, same family, so here you have the same color. Then, uh, yes, the big, very tall fire heater with this bottle of gin, rum, or whiskey, I don't know, and the big flames, uh, big colorful flames coming out of his mouth. Obviously, it has no uh, fit because it's on some tilt, 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 boo, I don't know. Uh, so, uh, and look at the pants here. I mixed some standard blue with some iridescent silver, so I have iridescent pants there. It's not uh, very stable because it's very heavy. The flames there are very heavy, but hey. Then the last clown there, it is a wolf clown there with the same colors and it is also an equilibrist on top of a big blue uh, ball there. 
with same colors as the others but this is metallic uh, uh, blue there metallic uh, mm, colors but the pompons are still uh, orange as always and here we have the hat then the popcorn machine there too modern i think for a victorian era christmas village i was inspired by what i've always seen in disneyland paris all along my life I, hey guys i've been there 18 times in my life okay so i love disneyland paris yes i'm a little child inside all the little child and then the lion tamer with his uh, iridescent purple whip and uh, a ring the fire ring not fire ring but the ring for the lions black pants with some gold also uh, it's like the general uh, commanding the uh, the lions then the strongman yes i've already said what is a victorian year circus without a strongman this is a very very enormous gigantic strongman paul the strongman yes i know big mustache no bird big mustache but also bold very very bold and it, it's <laughs> Uh, I know it's like a little comic with the, the oops, the camera is trying to slip away with these is like you have always seen in comics with the two and here very heavy so the uh, central bar there tends to bend but this is comic I want it like that big is bigger than Arnold Schwarzenegger this little guy here <laughs> okay then the last juggler, a uh, woman juggler there, uh, she's juggling uh, with uh, a bulls. So I used uh, the technique of having uh, the color changing in the middle when it changed from the yellow ball to the red ball to the blue ball to the purple ball. So here also some colors, some pom-poms there. Each time I add a pom-pom, I want the same. And it's also juggling on just one foot there. So, juggler. And then, and then the great Hini, as I've said, yes, during that time, all the magicians were the great this, the great that. I haven't decided the name. Please suggest a name for it. It's, uh, uh, gr mm, it has gray hairs, some tending to white because it has some experience, okay? And the fire, I, we don't know what will come out from his uh, top half, but here we have the Great Heaney. Then Scrooge, the circus owner with his uh, uh, golden clock, his, uh, everything is very elegant, very rich but also very, very, very greedy. And look at his face there. I will kill you. Okay, then the puppeteer. I told you this is not the circus, this is the puppeteer. Look, guys, I have here the stand there. Sorry, not enough light. I have the stand there, represented a little circus, but the other behind it, I have the puppeteer. Playing with, yes, I could have modeled better the, the puppets there, but, um, and also here, okay, I'm not very satisfied with the back of it, because too geometric there, but the front is not that bad. With the two puppets and the circus, this is, I will put it in front of everything uh, where kids need to be attracted, because kids attracts people to the circus, it's the kids that will... Mm. pull the parents inside of the tent then the couple of little lions there on the stand there this is the younger one okay uh, this is the youngest one okay uh, also i've also modeled the stand there with a golden star but i forgot i will have to put the lion on top of it so the star uh, is completely uh, added by the lion, but I have a star there. And then, oh, yes, and don't worry, I know that the lion will not fit inside, completely inside the ring, yes. But 
it's standard like that. And this is the, the adult male, the big, the big male there that will have, uh, it is fearless, okay? And finally, let's go where I have more light there, here. Frederick, my preferred one, my, my ring master there. And I don't, didn't want him to be standing on the floor, so I had a platform there with the red, white and gold. And then the colors here uh, for Freddy there. Okay, white or um, dirt white and uh, red, two colors of red. I don't know if you see, but the uh, jacket here has two red, one here and one iridescent red here for the top of the jacket. Then some, because I already told you that maybe I want also some, um, something strange, something science fiction, something like um, steampunk, okay? So I had some uh, silver uh, Google, Googles on his top half and everything. It also has a whip there because it can, it can also be, a, it can be everything. A ringmaster can be a clown, can be a lion tamer, can be everything for me. So here. And also, I already told you I wanted a, a ringmaster acting like Freddie Mercury. That's why his name is Frederick. And is it has a little, I don't know, a little stick. Uh, not a little, a very big stick. Like it was the microphone, the Freddie Mercury microphone. So this is very plastic. This is very um, towards the public. So give me some... Like Freddie Mercury will have done. So this is almost 20 figurines. And guys, I also told you that my intention was to add also some elephants. Because, not horses, because yes, horses, but lions and elephants, horses in Victorian era were common. Everyone knew that uh, there were um so let me let me close it like that, okay? I will go like that. Maybe I will show you my ugly face. Yes, I'm here, guys. My ugly face is here. Yes, guys, my ugly face is here. Sorry, I was checking for the light. Yes, I have lights and I have also a monitor right there so I can check if I'm uh, filming my ugly face. So I was saying maybe I've a little bit exaggerated with everything, but I want these three ring circles. Maybe I will have to uh, make some modification in my layout. I will go uh, wider. Uh, I don't know from this side or maybe from the other side. But this is our elephants. Uh, maybe I will add them, but if these uh, those figurines are gigantic, imagine what will be an elephant right there. I don't know that. I, I, I accept all the suggestions you want. Should I add elephants? But figurines, I don't think I will go with some more figurines. I've already depicted, I think, uh, all the important um, uh, figurines for a, a circus, for a Victorian era circus. At least I think maybe I'm wrong. Tell me also if I'm wrong, guys. And uh, so I will continue this way. I will think, uh, I think I will go with some more of the updates. Sorry, from now on. It's today is April. Yes, we are on April. So April, a month, May, a month, June, a month, July, three months before the big season, the big 2022 season start. Tell me something, guys. Bye.